Cameron Moreland and sports director Charlie Sakaitis. NBC 26 News at 5, keeping you connected. And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Today was the warmest day of the year so far. In fact, some of us saw high temperatures up into the 70s, and we've got more 70s on the way. But before we get to those 70s, we are going to cool back down. Highs will be mainly in the lower half of the 50s tomorrow. We'll see lower to mid 60s on Thursday. Another cool down for Friday and Saturday before we really start to warm up as we head into early next week. Right now, we are still looking at a few lower 70s out there. It is 71 degrees in Wapaka. It is also 70 in Watoma. It is currently 66 degrees in Oshkosh, but gusty northeast winds have now kicked in off the bay and lake, and temperatures are dropping. In fact, we've dropped almost 10 degrees here in Green Bay over the last hour or so with that gusty northeast wind coming in off the bay. It is now 54 degrees after a high of 65. It is still 64 in Appleton, but that northeast wind will kick in as we progress through the evening. Storm Shield radar showing a few showers developing here across parts of Marathon County, Western Shano County, up into Northern Oconto County and Marinette County. And that activity is developing behind a cold front. And those showers will slowly work south and east across northeast Wisconsin as we head through the evening hours. The satellite picture shows our main weather maker, which is a cold front. At ahead of that cold front today, it was warm. Temperatures were in the 60s and 70s, but behind it, it was turning much colder. 15 to 25 degrees colder today compared to yesterday. Many spots only seeing highs in the 40s. No, we're not going to get that cold, but we're going to get back cold. High temperatures dropping back down into the 50s tomorrow. Now, high temperatures have been above normal only two of the last 26 days, and tomorrow we're going to see those below normal high temperatures return. Our normal high is in the upper 50s. We're going to see upper 40s near Lake Michigan and the Bay of Green Bay. Further inland temperatures will be in the lower to mid 50s, but then we warm back up again on Thursday as northeast winds turn around to the south and west. Temperatures will climb up into the 60s, and if you like the warmer weather, We've got warmer weather on the way as we head into next week. We could have several days with high temperatures up into the 70s. So your forecast for tonight calls for a few showers and breezy. Lows will be in the mid 30s. Tomorrow, sun and clouds and cooler. High temperatures back down into the lower half of the 50s. On Thursday, look for sunshine mixing with a few high clouds, lower 60s. A good chance for some on and off rain showers on Friday. Lower 50s, we'll see low to mid 50s on Saturday. Sunshine mixing with a few clouds. High pressure moves over the state on Sunday with mostly sunny skies and lower 60s. And then as high pressure moves away, our winds will turn to the south and west and they will be gusty. It looks like on both Monday and Tuesday, Regina, high temperatures will be in the mid to upper 70s. As the warmer air comes in Monday morning, we'll have a chance for a thunderstorm and then we'll have additional chances for showers and thunderstorms Tuesday evening and right through much of next week. And if we get some thunderstorms, storm complexes, which appears possible, yeah. we could be looking at the threat of some heavy rain and that could aggravate some of the flooding that we're seeing across northeast Wisconsin right now. So we got to keep a close eye if on that. If it's not one thing, it's another. It is. Right? You're right. But I'm glad that it's the 70s. That's all that matters. Yes, warmer <laughs> weather for sure. Yay. All right, Cameron, thanks for that. We'll be right back. This weekend, food and wine lovers will have the chance to also help our local charities. The first food and wine fest hosted by Parallel 44 takes place this Saturday. And how it works is nine chefs will fix up some delicious options to pair with the wines. Guests will sample and vote on their favorites. And a group of Wisconsinites are seeing the world in a whole new way.